Yes, yes, welcome to another video and it's the final game before the international break. It's FA Cup season, City travel down to the South Coast and we're playing Southampton who we've not actually beaten this season. Two draws, a nil-nil and a 1-1, one -one. so obviously it's going to be a tricky game. Um, we've got loads to talk about. How can we finally beat Southampton this season? What do we need to do to uh, progress into the semi-final? Before we do, guys, I want to show you this short clip from our sponsor today, the guys at Manscaped. 85% of partners prefer a man who is groomed below the waist and 96% of partners think bad grooming is a major turnoff. That's where Manscaped have come in to help us all out, including myself, lads. The Lawnmower 4.0 is a trimmer specifically designed with our crown jewels in mind. It has skin safe technology to reduce those nicks and cuts and gives you the maximum confidence while trimming below the waist. It's also IPX7 waterproof rated so you can operate in wet or dry conditions. It has a premium 7000 RPM motor with quiet stroke technology and a massive 90 minute battery time which is supported by its wireless electromagnetic charging function. With the Performance Package 4.0 you'll get the Crop Reviver with Witch Hazel and powerful odour defence. This keeps your balls protected after a good shave. Crop Preserver with its soothing aloe vera and advanced quick absorbing cream keeping your balls feeling fresh and hydrated and the Weed Whacker to trim ear and nose hair. The Performance Package 4.0 is everything you need to keep you the most groomed man in the room. Use our code EXTRA20 XTRA20 at checkout and you'll save yourself 20% off your order and receive free international shipping. Yes, yeah, shout out Manscaped, link in the description. Make sure you smash a like on the video as well for that video. Um, right, bro, let's get into it then. So, um, I mentioned there, obviously, we've played Southampton twice this season. We've struggled, bro. We've struggled 0-0 nil -nil and a 1-1. One -one. We've, we've failed, really, to create serious chances, um, you, you know, and, and I just feel like, what, what do we need to do in this game? Because from what I can remember, the games that we played against them, especially the one all certainly weren't like Palace, where we did have loads of chances. You know, Southampton kept us really, you know, they kept us really tight. We, we struggled to create. You know, what, what what can we do in this game, Brit? You know, off the top of your head that, that, that we, you know, we can create some chances and, and actually maybe score a goal. That would be nice. Play a striker. <laughs> <laughs> we don't fucking have one. Play a striker. Yeah. You don't know our team, Brit. Let's, let's pull a striker out of thin air. Play a striker. We'll get Erling Haaland, <laughs> innit? We'll just, we'll just, we'll just get him right now and play him. That's the only way... That we're gonna score goals in it. Like this is this is probably like one of the most disgusting disgusting games to come off after, after the Palace thing because we couldn't put the ball in the back of that there. Mm. And this is a game where we're gonna be limited to them chances. I mean, you're really gonna to have to take a chance against the uh, Southampton because like I say the last two games we didn't get many. Obviously, there's no there's no way to tell if, if this game will go the exact same way as that. But if I was uh, Hassan Huttle, I'd definitely been set, be setting up the exact same, mm. the exact same way because they made it really, really difficult for City in both games. Yeah. One thing that I would say is though, it ain't the only thing that is different is we can't draw. We can't draw this game. You know what I mean? Someone has to go through. So it might they might open up a little bit more than what we've seen in the Prem. In the Prem, you could just go, yeah, we'll take these points. We'll make it difficult for me. You know I mean, a yeah. draw against City, That's I'll true. take that. But this, you know what I mean, someone's got to win. Yeah. So yeah. so it might be a little bit more open. Um, obviously, I have no idea. You just it's, give the kiss of so, death there, bro. It's going to yeah. be the deadest game we've ever seen. Yeah, it's, it is going to be a dead game. I know. I know. I already know it's going to be a dead game after Palace. You know what I mean, I, I'm not. I've got no hopes for this being an open, flowing game of football. Yeah. Um, but one thing that we do have to watch out for Southampton, which they've proved to us, is the counter attack. Um, that's where our weakness is. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the thing is, yeah, I'm looking at Southampton's recent form. Not great. Uh, three losses on the bounce against. Teams that really they shouldn't be getting beat off, you know, if they really got got serious ambitions, they got beat four 0 off Villa, um, two one off Newcastle, and they they even got beat off Watford um, two one. So they're coming into the game in not so great form. However, it is a different competition. Maybe they'll just like you know be able to just play uh, without that sort of Premier League pressure type thing. Um, so you know it's it, it's going to be a difficult one. The, this game is going to be tricky. You know we, we found out in both matches that that Southampton are a difficult side to play, and in both matches we didn't really have any answers for them. This is our third time playing them now, so you're hope, <laughs> hoping that Pep Guardiola and the players on the pitch can 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 figure out a way to to defeat 
um, Southampton's tactics. You know what I mean? Because ha- Hassel Hooten or whatever the guy's called, you know, he's 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 setting up his teams in a way that we really struggle in. You know what I mean? We're really struggling this season to get anything out of them. Like like I keep saying against Palace in the second game where where we drew nil nil. We created so many chances, it was unreal. We didn't create them chances against Southampton. I was looking at the, the highlights before and, you know, we had a couple of chances and that was pretty much it. It was a real, real sort of dull game. So, anyway, you know, it's going to be one of them. FA Cup, if we win, to, we're into the semi-final. Massive um, for, for the season and, and massive in terms of any treble hopes that anyone harbours. Um, there we go, we've mentioned it already, bro. 19th of March. That's when it was first mentioned on City Extra. Um, Jeez. But yeah, you know what? I'm I'm gonna raise my agenda, my my belief that Gundogan needs to come back into the team. I, I've previously stated, bro, that Ilkay Gundogan needs to get himself into this side. Yeah, I think. Um, in now, now we're in the crunch part of the season. We're in we're in the we're in the end game, um, where it really really matters. You need cool heads. You need calm heads. And I need I need Ilkay Gundogan on the pitch. And it, I, you know what I mean, bro? I I want Ilkay Gundogan playing pretty much every game now until the end of the season. I really do. Yeah, um, it's, I'd love for him to unlock them like that, that two months last season where he absolutely slammed. I think he got back to back player of the months. Mm. Um, we need that Ilkay Gundogan back in this side, uh, and I, I I back you with that. I back you. I I, I want to see that. I want to see Ilkay Gundogan return to the side. I'd, I'd a bit more surety to this midfield. Mm-hmm. Uh, that sometimes Rodri has been a little bit sloppy recently. His form has dipped a bit, and maybe just having Ilkay Gundogan. Um, in the team can help him out a little bit with Gundogan being more of a box-to-box. I think, so. I think box. it'll take the load off Rodri a little bit. Yeah, you know, yeah. Rodri's had a bit of a tough time over the last month or so. Um, and I think if you put Gundogan in there, it'll it'll help shore up that midfield. It'll take a little bit of the pressure off Rodri. Because uh, Rodri at the moment, he's, he's, he's been asked to kind of do everything. He's been asked to, out of possession, make interceptions, make tackles, um close down the spaces, close down the gaps, cut off passing lanes. And then when he's got the ball, okay, now it's your time to dictate the play, dictate, you know, the tempo of the, of the play, find passes, break lines, you know. And it's just like the guy's been asked to do absolutely everything on his own. You know what I mean? And it's kind of like, mm, you're, playing, you're playing Bernardo Silva and Kevin. Well, Kevin's not going to help you that much because he's going to be further up the pitch. Bernardo can help you, but that guy's been playing every single match, you know, of the season pretty much so the guy's probably absolutely knackered you know put Ilkay Gundogan in there he's not played that much football this season take the load off him defensively and take the load of, off him offensively because he can just play the nice easy ball if you remember Gareth Barry yeah Gareth Barry was in the team and then when he got the ball he'd normally just play the pass to someone else who would then play the killer pass rodri has been asked to play basses like, I keep on calling the guy Pirlo you know what I mean? Because the guy's always been asked to like play chip balls and like try and chip balls over the defence into the striker and that. Because that's what he's being asked to do and the way that we set it up, we're putting so much pressure on Rodri. I think if you put Gundogan in there, it takes the pressure off him and Ilkay Gundogan, he's been around the block before, he's very, very experienced and I think he's exactly what this team needs right now until the end of the season. So Ilkay you got a thumbs up from me. <laughs> okay, you're back in the side, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Pep confirmed this to me, actually. He told me before. Oh, did he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, nice. <laughs> right, let's go through the team lineup then, bro. Um, okay, so in goal, you know, I, I, we're in the, we were at this start of the, um, we're at this period of the season now where I don't want to see no rotation, so I want to see Edison in goal. Um, Kyle Walker is back from a suspension that he previously had yeah. in this competition, so he can play right back. Um, Diaz is still rumoured to be out, although it's a bit weird. Have you seen this? All Did, yeah, because he, 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 he got pictured and posted on Instagram. Weird. But then deleted straight away. So I don't know whether... Old he, photo? Or old photo, or games. maybe he was back in training then... They pulled it out and was like, nah, nah. Just weird, mate. Or maybe it's one of these things, you know what like managers do, where they're like, I'm going to keep this a secret until we play Liverpool. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I <laughs> so, so Jazz don't play, and then against Liverpool, he pops up that he's actually Unless, fit. you know what? Unless it's because they didn't want him being called up for Portugal duty. <gasps> that is a shout. Now that is a shout. There is a brain in it, you know. Yeah, Um, nice. Anyway, centre-backs. I think you're going to see Stones report. Yeah, Yeah. there's a very slim chance I came out getting, but I just don't see it. Um, Left-back, you know, I think you'll probably just end up seeing Cancelo there, bro. Um, You know, Zinchenko's not had much game time, but it's difficult 
uh, with Cancelo. So yeah, Cancelo will probably play there. Um, as we've already discussed, Rodri, Rodri should play this match. Although I do think there's a slight chance that he might throw Fernandinho into this game. But because yeah, of the international chance, break, yeah. I'd just play Rodri. Um, we're going to go Gundogan and Bernardo Silva in the middle. And then up front, this is where you guys can let us know what you think in the comment section below because it's a difficult one. We're going to play Mares because why not? Um, but we're going to go Kevin De Bruyne as the striker slash false nine. And the left wing position, really difficult. But we're going to go Phil Foden. Jack Grealish and Sterling both played in the two games against Southampton. They played both of them and we scored one goal. Uh, Foden did play in one of them. Um, so we're going to go Phil Foden purely and simply due to the fact that the other two played in both of the matches against Southampton and we scored a goal at one solitary goal. So, look. <laughs> I mean, you can't do it then. You ain't going to do it now. That's basically how we do things here. <laughs> you can't do it then. You ain't going to do it now. Yeah. You're not allowed to learn from mistakes or get better. Nah, that's not nah, a that's thing. That's basically it, You'll never play against Southampton at this football club ever again. Ever again. Um, then, however long your contract is, you're dusted, yeah. mate. That's it, you're done. No, no, no. <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, let us know your thoughts anyway in the comment section below. What do you think of that team? Do you like it? Um, would you change anything about it? The front three? You know, what, what, Where are you on this whole Gundogan situation? You, are you with us? Are you, are you backing that Gundogan needs to be in this team? For me, I, I genuinely think the guy needs to be in the team now for pretty much every single game until the end of the season. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. We will, of course, be doing our live watch along tomorrow. It's 3 p.m. kickoff UK time, so we'll be live at half two. Come and join us if you're not going to the game or you're not watching it with your mates at the pub or anything. We'll be live, keeping you company. It's a massive, massive game, guys, before the final international break of the season, so don't miss it. FA Cup quarter final. Can City make it into the semi final? Um, bro, we don't always do this, mate, but I'm going to get a score prediction. What are you saying? 3-1 City. We score one our City, chances. Yeah. That's not actually a bad shout, you know. I, th I think Pep puts it on City after after Palace and goals. Yo, you need to start putting these in the back of the net. And I reckon we, we went 3-1. Yeah, I ain't got as much confidence there. I'm going to go for a 2-0 win. Um, <clears throat> I just don't see us... Yeah, I don't see us suddenly scoring better goals in it. But yeah, I think it'll be in that sort of 2-3 two, two, two to three goals. Don't see us scoring. Or maybe 1-3, you know what I mean? But I don't see us scoring much more than that unless... They found the shooting boots. Um, right, guys, we'll leave it there. Go check out manscaped.com. Use code um, EXTRA20 at checkout for 20% off and free shipping. It's international delivery, guys, so get on it. Get them smooth ball sacks and your partners will love it. Um, we'll see you in the next one, guys. See you in a bit.